Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video where in the Power BI I will show you using Power Query how you can pivot a data structure. So this is a helpful scenario especially in those tricky visualization where you need basically a different type of a setting rather than you know a long structure data. So this is all about creating wide structure from long structure and I'll show you in a second how you can do that. Before that, just a quick information that if you have landed very first time on my channel, then you should know about this uh, Google Sheet where I keep all of my videos. So the video title is present here, link is present here. That way you can search any of my video and jump to that video using the link present here. Also, based on your difficulty level, I have categorized each video. So that way you know whether this is for beginner, advanced or let's say you are creating your own curriculum in terms of learning Power BI. You can first complete the beginner video, then intermediate level and then advanced level. So this link of this sheet is present in description. Also the data set I use is basically from my data set folder where in Power BI you will have the information about this Power BI Superstore sales. The data set I use for my scenarios. Okay, coming back to the Power BI. So first thing first, let's go into the uh, Power Query by clicking on that transform data option. And then what do we have is we have to take the data set. So we have the recent sources uh, and it's basically sometimes during the recording it doesn't come. So I'll go to Excel workbook and I'll choose that same Power BI Superstore sales. And then, you know, it is nothing but a very simple data set about the orders. Uh, that is that, you know, a departmental store has taken or a company has taken. Uh, related to various categories like um, furniture and whatnot. Okay, so it has a lot of information as you can see and uh, whole thing, you know, uh, is about pivot. So what do you have is basically, let's say a requirement where you have ship mode over here, right? And you want to see and you have a quantity column over here, right? And what do you want basically you want rather than this structure if you have a business requirement where you want each column by the ship mode like one column for standard class one column for first class right so and one column for second class so on and so forth so you have three or four classes over here right so you want column for each of this class then in that case pivot structure is very useful and many times during the tricky visualization or let's say for the purpose of construction of uh, a tables this can be really useful right so what do you need is uh, basically going you need to go into the transform menu and then you have the option of pivoting the column right so ship mode is basically what we have selected so you can see use the names in the column ship mode to create a new column since i had the cursor over there and i selected that value right then I need a value column, which is nothing but the quantity column, which I need for each of my ship class. And then in the advanced, it basically allows me to select whether I want sum, I want average, median, maximum, so on and so forth. So for now, I'll just go with the sum only and I'll click OK. <clears throat> so it will throw an error, which is good that it has thrown the error. And the reason for this is, you know, there is a lot of null values that it has picked up. So I'll click on load more and you will see that it will load the entire data. And sometimes it captures some of these blank values which it shows as a null. So it will just make sure that we'll uncheck the null. And then we can do the same operation again. Ship mode is selected, pivot column. In the pivot column, make sure that ship mode is coming here and the values should be the quantity advanced. Make sure sum is there. If you need average, that's also fine. And you click OK. Once you click OK, now it will start doing the processing and the columns will then be present in the end. As you can see, these ellipses or small circles are uh, moving. So that means the processing is going on. Also, you can see my cursor, which is showing the processing icon. Now, if you see over here in the end, you have basically standard class relevant quantity, first class relevant quantity, second class relevant quantity, same day relevant quantity. So what it does, what it has done is created a four columns, which with which you can easily, you know, create sort of a simple table in a pivot type of a structure, 
which was not possible with the earlier configuration if you if you know you know about the pivot and uh, simple table structure so this becomes really helpful in in scenarios where you want from each class a different type of a behavior right now you can have let's say average of standard class maximum of first class you can apply a different aggregation level on this right so that's that's something you can achieve uh, with this the only thing you need to make sure is uh, where, when you do that the level of data granularity you know the number of rows can increase or decrease so that's the only thing you need to make sure you are checking it otherwise things are good you can start using it in the front end and get the desired output so simply come to home click on close and apply and then it will do the processing and the, all these new newly created columns will be present in the data section uh, for you to create the output and i'll show you in a quick two after in two seconds after it you know it is done with uploading or the processing the data and creating the model as to why it is helpful and uh, how you can basically take a good advantage of that in the front end by by creating a simple visualization so for now i'll just take a pause here and come back once it is loaded all right processing is done now i have sheet so first thing first i will do is i will select this table so what did i have is uh, was the shipping mode right so this is ship date and uh, if i come back and up and down just let me expand this up so what do you have now is same day second class standard class right um and first class right so what i can do is i can basically bring all of these column very easily now one by one like first class um same day second class and standard class right so now if you see these are all coming as four different meshes which ideally would not come when you have it as a in a dimension and then i can expand it let's say by category over here which by producing it as first so now i have category and for each category this this is now creating a pivot type of a structure right if you if you have used so rather than uh, we we are using the matrix as a column we are basically using it that is just one example but it has countless other examples in terms of creating custom visualization like i mentioned that for first class let's say you want to take a sum for a same day you want to take an average you know if you want to apply a different type of aggregation for the values of the same column then you need to create a pivot type of a structure so very very helpful in those tricky scenarios where you need basically a different treatment for each of the dimension value remember that that is the key for each dimension value if you need a different type of a treatment or you need to show it differently you will going to use it so with that uh, thank you so much for watching let me know if you have any confusion or question and i'll help you answer that